order the hierarchical order of the planets you see it's not to do with the physical order so um, hope uh, no one's confused with that um, if you if you still are I can uh, thrash it out a little bit more but I think I've answered that one um, okay a friend saves a friend say A friend says, if you are conceived in a female moon sign, you will be female. If you are conceived when the moon is in a masculine sign, you will be a boy. Wow. Wow. That is rich. Thank you, Bill. Uh, William. Bill. <laughs> Good point. Uh, my father has many uh, ideas about the moon, which he has um, received from many, many generations of southern Italians. And he says that if the moon is waxing uh, when you have a child, your next child will be of the same gender. Um, yeah. And if the moon is waning when your child is born, your next child will be of the opposite gender. That's my father, and he's predicted so many gender births. He's predicted the gender of many births, probably hundreds. People used to go to my father, little Virgoan Italian man. They used to come to him and say, Vic, what am I going to have, boy or a girl? And he says, tell me about the moon. Uh, what was the moon doing when you, were, when you had your first child or whatever? And uh, he predicted them. No, I've never heard of that, Bill. So thanks for sharing that with us. So if um, at the moment of conception, if you're conceived when the moon is in a male sign, you'll be a boy. If conceived when the moon is in a feminine sign, you will be a girl. We'll have to do some study about that and check that out and the veracity of that because that sounds pretty good to me. How do you know when it is male or masculine? Well, the masculine signs are the fire and the air, Aries, Gemini, uh, and the uh, feminine signs are uh, <coughs> earth and water. <coughs> so wherever the moon finds itself at conception, that's what it'll be. You can pretty much uh, calculate it and work it out and plan it in that case because you always know where the moon is. For instance, where's the moon now? Uh, it was in uh, Gemini when it was full uh, a couple of days ago. So it's now in uh, Cancer or Leo. So um, the moon is now in Cancer or uh, Leo. So if you're going to um, try and have uh, children, you can work it out that way. Would you say that in God we trust is directly referring to trust law and the fact that civilians don't know it? Well, I, want, I do want to say something about this in closing because... I have been discussing on my radio shows, and in particular I spent quite a bit two weeks ago on American Freedom Radio, explaining that the trust system that is put into place by the Vatican four or five hundred years ago, um, the fact that the churches tell you nothing about it, and believe you me, all the governing bodies of the churches are very clever men. You won't find a woman in there. <laughs> They don't like them, uh, but they're very clever men. They're all lawyers. They're all very educated, these 30,000 uh, corporate Christian murdering organisations. And the governing bodies of these organisations are businessmen. They're not, they don't know any of this science. They won't teach you anything about this because um, they're ignorant and stupid. Um, they... Um, They'll tell you all sorts of crap. Uh, 
and one thing they won't tell you is that you've been uh, you've been um, your um, treasures and your wealth have been stolen. Off you by the Vatican. They're pretty silent about that. Funny about that, but they tell you that we can trust them. Oh, bless. Uh, we won't tell you that we know that the government is in cahoots with the Vatican, and your trusts are worth millions of dollars. But you don't need to enjoy that. The banksters are getting that. They're floating the bonds on the stock market uh, uh, against your uh, trusts. So. Um, just be good little slaves of God, this uh, fictional Humpty Dumpty that we've created for you, and don't drink coffee or dance or have contraception. Um, and uh, don't worry about your trusts generating billions of dollars to the banksters. God's going to sort them out. You just keep poor because blessed are the poor. And it sounds like a Monty Python freaking movie. Um, but oh yeah, the old they tell you trust in God. Yeah. But that's not the deist God, that's the theist God, the one that you invent. So uh, that's what I wanted to say in closing about the trusts. And guys, now that you know the stars, um, I'm going to close in three minutes, uh, so I'm just going to wind down now. Yeah, by the end of this year, only two banks will be left operational. Yeah, David, by the way, David is uh, has... Um, a lot of insight if you want to get on David's chat on Wednesday night. It's the same chat room as this. The I am that I am chat room belongs to David. Now, on Wednesday night, David uh, has a lot of insight about the goings-on behind the scenes with this uh, crooked Vatican-controlled world. And he'll be very, very happy to share that information with you. So now that you know how to... Uh, See the beautiful stars of the beautiful Christmas season of the Nativity. Um, please, if you're able to share these um, alignments and this knowledge with your church-going friends, if you have some, because we need to uh, help these people as they are also becoming more and more conscious and more and more aware of the goings-on of the churches with pedophilia, and financial scandals and land grabbing and killing of people, check out the work of Kevin Annett. Uh, I'll write that. Kevin Annett has been exposing the Uniting Church in Canada. They have murdered thousands of Indigenous people there in Canada. Um, you know, let's explain to our church going friends about the trust system for instance, that uh, their ministers are not telling them about and see how they like it because they know about it. They absolutely know that the banksters are stealing our money and they're in cahoots with the Vatican, all of them, every single corporate Christian religion. They are blasphemous businesses and they will go down. The day of reckoning has come for the churches. And it's only a matter of months, people, wh where we can rejoice, where this blasphemous fictional Christian um, monstrosity will uh, will go under, like a house of cards, uh, because everything evil, everything fictional, and every lie must be exposed, and um, it will be, it will be exposed, and uh, of course, uh, let's uh, sing it out from the rooftops. Thank you, William, and uh, one and all, I appreciate your uh, attendance, your um, your company. It's been great to talk with you guys, and uh, hopefully we can have some uh, more audio chat next time. I love I love seeing people and and listening to them. And um, William, um, I'm hoping that you will spend ten minutes with us next week, uh, sharing your insights uh, to astrology. Uh, being the uh, the great astrologer that you are. Thank you, Gareth. Thank you, Enza, Tasha, Colleen, Jan, Jay, David in... Um, goodness, where are you, David? The orange flag. 
Anyway, thank you. Love you all and see you next week.